Every army needs a symbol to believe in. For the church, it's the flame. Even we have the coat of arms of our once great house. It's a banner to all those who follow us, inspiring soldiers and leading the charge. One soldier has held the banner of the East for countless campaigns, but has since taken up a new banner, one befitting her new mystical mount. This veteran is named Nereid. She carries the skull of a long dead horse, and together they are the Cataphract. As stated, Nereid is a veteran of many wars, fighting on the behalf of the Levantine Sultanate, a mighty nation in a distant desert. Perhaps we'll discuss more on this group one day, but for now, let us keep our attention on Nereid. She was the banner bearer in several battles, many of which she was the sole survivor of. Leading the cavalry charge, cutting down foes with her spear, she became a symbol for her people the Eastern Herald. But for all the glory of battle, it was wearing down her soul. She had lived to see all those around her die. Her comrades, her friends. It took its toll on her. The only companion that still stood by her side was her horse, Cargadon, her faithful steed since she was young. They had survived all those near suicidal charges together forming an unbreakable bond, which is what drove her to do what she did. During another battle, as the arrows rained down and cannons fired, the smell of sulfur filled the air, and Cargadon had died. He suffered a lance to the throat. Nereid knelt down mourning the loss of her one true friend. It was then that something snapped within her. She couldn't abandon him, so she worked up the courage to do something. She returned from the battlefield, dragging the burnt and twisted corpse of her horse. She approached a temple, guarded by two giants who blocked her entrance. She quickly disposed of them and continued to march into the temple, until she found the artifact she was seeking. Chained up in a safe and glowing with a blue aura, she used her spear to break the chains binding the mystical artifact and unleash the arcane powers inside. Whatever was in that safe was able to bring back her steed as a fiery ghost. And together, they flew off into the night sky. While she had reunited with her companion, something had obviously changed. Cargadon was no longer flesh and blood, but rather bone and fire. Moreover, he now spoke to Nereid, whispering to her, and the creature now fed on the dreams and nightmares of others to sustain itself. But he had returned, and the two were now soul-bound together. Her betrayal of the Levantine would not go unnoticed, so she was forced to flee from her homeland and make her way to the estate. And it was here she would sign on in the service of the heir, carrying the new banner of her ghostly companion. She is just, if not more effective in battle with her new steed. They work best in the front or back rows. Summoning Cargadon to charge forward or fall back, she dashes across the battlefield, breaking the ranks of her enemies. Cargadon can also turn into a bow that she could support her companions with a volley of arrows. She could tap into the mystical powers of the skull to heal her allies, although through some rather unorthodox means. Should all else fail, she still uses her trusty spear to stab her targets, and her heavy armor allows her to take plenty of damage in the front rows. Nereid and Cargadon's bond has surpassed even death. They are of one soul, and they hope to one day ride together in green fields under warm skies. Until that day arrives, 
she will continue to lead the charge against the monsters of the estate. A fiery symbol for our companions to follow, to gain strength from, and to find glory in.